Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to show how to analyze the simple frame by using this canis method. Already in the last e two lectures, that is in example one and example two, we discussed about the continuous beam with two connecting members. One will be BA and another will be BC. Similarly, CB and CD. But here, at a particular joint, there will be three members. So this procedure also very very simple. I will show you in this example. So friends, see here. First of all, calculate the fixed end moments. So on a particular span AB, an uniform distributed load is acting. What is the formula? Minus WL square by 2L M bar AB equal to minus WL square by 2L, where W equal to 20, L equal to 4. And if you simplify in the formula, you will get 26.67 kN meter. Similarly, M bar BA equal to plus WL square by 2L. See here, that one will be equal to 26.67 kN meter. Then go for span BC. So, a point load which is in the form of an eccentric eccentric load means some a by b not exactly at the center a concentrated or a point load is acting at some eccentric distance so what is your formula minus w a b square by l square for m bar b c similarly for m bar c b w a square b by l square so that is your formula where w equal to 40 a equal to 2 b equal to 3 and l equal to length of that particular span 5 meters so then you substitute in the formula then you will get that particular values m bar bc equal to 28.8 kilo newton meter which is negative here so please make it correct this one will be negative and m bar cb equal to 19.2 kilo newton meter then go for span cd so for span cd you come from db not from bd so if you take m bar bd equal to minus means it will wrong so then what is the what I am telling here means m bar db equal to minus w l by 8 which is exactly at the center the formula will be minus w l by 8 and a particular member if a point load is acting exactly at the center what is the formula minus w l by 8 from db similarly m bar bd equal to plus w l by 8 where w equal to 20 l v equal to 4 by 8 friends if the load will be acting in this direction on a column from the left side left direction for example if the force acting from the right direction so like this means you get m bar db equal to minus w plus w l by 8 for example here if the force is acting on a member from the left side then what happens the formula will be m bar db equal to minus w l by 8 if the force acting from this direction then the formula will be m bar db equal to plus w l by 8 you please remember that one it is uh, somewhat little bit confused here if here the force is acting from the left direction means uh, m bar db equal to plus minus w l by 8 if the force acting from the right direction means uh, you take plus w l by 8 so that is the only not point uh, what i am saying here then go to the joint so friends first of all well cal before calculating the rotation factors what is your uh, rotation factors table joint member relative stiffness total relative stiffness and uh, rotation factors so how many joints are there in a particular beam so you see here there will be only joint one joint and connecting members are ba bc and uh, bd or the three connecting members for a particular joint okay see here I am taking on a table joint B member B A B C and B D. So I am at the B position. If foreign end is fixed, so what is my relative stiffness here? A by L. If foreign end is fixed, the relative stiffness for B A equal to I by L. If foreign end is fixed, so B D relative stiffness will be equal to I by L. So foreign end is simply supported. I am at the B position. I am looking C. So C is simply supported here foreign is simply supported means uh, what is the formula for that one 3 by 4 times of i by l where l equal to here 4 i equal to i why because there is no any property given here that is the reason take i equal to i and if you simplify in your uh, formula then you will get i by 4 3 by 4 times of i by 5 and i by 4 here then total relative stiffness means there will be only uh, one joint here so you please add these three connecting members for a particular joint you will get the, rela the relative stiffness so ba plus bc plus bd then you will get this one 0.65i then you will go for calculation of the rotation factor u equal to minus 1 by 2 k by sigma k for if i want ba relative stiffness 
rotation factor i will take relative stiffness for the ba and total relative stiffness for that particular joint that is 0.65 i then i substitute in the formula i will get minus 0.19 similarly for bc and bd also take individual relative stiffness and total relative stiffness then substitute in the formula then you will get these values friends first of all you please watch before two examples i explained each and every step step by step in a clear format then you come to this example if you directly come this one means i will make it brief because of some making some less time this video that is the reason you please go and watch that video and again come back to this video then only it will be very clear for you then go to the canis diagram so friends see here here i didn't take any model diagram as previous examples so here directly i am showing in this model itself so first of all wherever joint you will draw like this so at nda it is fixed nda also fixed ndc is simply supported see here as it is in the question nda fixed nda is simply uh, fixed ndc is simply supported at a joint b there will be a here b is a joint that is the reason i am taking here like this so wherever joint you always draw like this only okay first of all write down all the fixed moments one will be here that is m bar ab equal to minus 26.67 here m bar bc equal to 26.67 here similarly m bar bc equal to minus 28.8 this one only then m bar cd equal to plus 19.20 then m bar bd equal to plus 10 m bar db equal to minus 10 so after writing the fixed moments then you write down ba rotation factors here that is minus 0.19 bc rotation factors that is minus 0.12 bd rotation factors that is minus 0.19 friends after that one if there will be any another member that is be will be there means you write down the rotation factor here and that fixed end moment here so if you calculate some multi-story frames such type of problems will be arises so you please take care at that situation here there will be only three problems that is the reason i am writing all these three then some of the fixed end moments you write down in this box some of the fixed end moments so some of the fixed end moments means at a particular joints there will be three moments three balancing moments that is ba bc and bd so before going to add these three first of all see here at nda there is no uh, simply supported end or overhanging end if there will be some simply supported or overhanging ends means you will make it a correction on that one you first of all make it correct end and then balancing that one so for a and d there will be no problem for c there will be a problem why because final movement for the simply supported end always it will be zero but here there will be some fixed moment if you substitute in that formula you will get some final moment here that is the reason to make that simply supported end zero you will make this fixed end moment also zero for making final moment zero for that purpose only we are making this fixed end moment also zero here then we will carrying this uh, half of the moment to its far end here the fixed end moment will be plus 19.20 will be there so I am making this one 0 by taking the same value that is 19.20 with opposite sign that is minus then after adding these two I will get 0 here why because simply supported end final moment will be 0 that is the reason I am taking I am making this one as a 0 here then after taking this value half of the moment exactly you will carry to its other end for B C B B A C is the other end so balancing end so that is the reason what i am telling means if you carry half of the moment that is minus 19.20 by 2 so you will get minus 9.6 carry half of the moment to that other end that is bc for bc cb and for cb bc is the other end similarly for ab ba is the other end similarly for bd db is the other end here we are making correction at the cb position then carry over to its other end that is bc then after uh, taking this uh, one then you please uh, add this two so at the bc position already one fixed moment will be there one is minus 28.8 after that one you will add this one also that is minus 9.6 then if you add these two then you will get a uh, minus 38.40 so this is your uh, balance final fixed end moment this is your fixed end moment at uh, bc position okay before making correction your fixed end moment will be minus 28.8 after making some necessary corrections then your fixed end moment will be minus 38.40 so then your uh, bi will be 26.67 bd will be 
10 so for making this uh, balancing moment some of the fixed moments you have to add these two ba plus bd plus bc so see here i am rating clearly 26.67 minus 38.40 plus 10 that one will be equal to minus 1.73 in kilo newton meter and write down here and write down here then go for the rotation moments friends always remember rotation moments at the ends will be always zero we are not taking any rotation moment at the ends we are only calculating rotations at the particular joints that is ba bd and bc not at the uh, ends that is whether it will be simply supported overhang or any fixed end you no need to calculate at the rotation moments at the ends you just calculate rotation moments at the connecting members at the particular joints that is ba bd and bc then go to the trial one so if you are uh, efficient uh, with the procedure then don't no need to write down these formulas and trials just to directly calculate in, uh, simplify in your calculators but uh, you will see along with the formula no problem so m bar i want to calculate these trials m bar ba so what is your formula u you into some of the fixed moments uh, plus uh, for some of the foreign rotation moments so first step where u equal to for ba u equal to this minus 0 0.19 this minus 0 0.19 into some of the fixed moments means this balancing moment minus 1.73 plus foreign rotation moments what is the foreign rotation moments for this ba for ba pc is the near end but uh, for ba ab db and uh, CB are the far ends, but uh, there will be no rotation moments at the ends. Therefore, I am taking here 0, 0. For some of the foreign rotation moments are 0. Then I am simplifying this one. I will get 0 0.33 kilo Newton meter. Immediately after calculating first trial uh, for BA, I am writing here. Then I am going for a span BC. For span BC. For C here, rotation factors for, for span BC is minus 0 0.12 sum of the fixed end moment is at the center value that is minus 1.73 plus sum of the foreign rotation moments for bc foreign rotation moments are ab bc and db so see here for this bc foreign rotation moments are ab db and this cb but here there will be one rotation moment that one will be a near end that is the reason i am not taking this one just i am looking at this foreign and taking here zeros then after simplifying i will get 0 0.21 kilo newton meter then go that one and write down here then go for this bd position so take down the formula u means minus 0 0.19 into sum of the fixed moment will be equal to minus 1.73 plus foreign rotation moments for b for bd what are the foreign rotation moments one will be this one ab another will be db another will be cb these three are the foreign rotation moments so wherever you are whenever you are calculating you have to look all these foreign rotation moments so all these are the zero that is the reason i am taking here zero for bd bc and CB are the near end. Why? Because all are connecting to a particular joint. That is the reason these are the near ends and these are the far ends. That is the reason far ends are taking zero here. But in the formula, they are only asking a far end. That is the reason you take down that is a far end and make down that one will be equal to 0.33 kilo Newton meter. Then you write down here. Friends, such if you see here if you go for again second trial and third trial the same procedures will the same rotation moments will be repeated here why because there will be no other joints under rotation moments so for each and every trial rotation factor and balancing moments are always the same so then there will be repeated values occurs in this type of problems so if you want you please go for another trial also you will get same values at that time no need to waste your time then stop that procedure why because whatever the warp and rotation moments are the final rotation moments in this type of problems then go for the final moments so final moments equal to m equal to fixed moments plus 2 into near end rotation moments plus 1 into foreign rotation moments so see here what I am saying means before going to the final moments, first of all divided the divide the spans individually AB and BC and BD. So first of all divide the spans individually and then calculate the final moments. So for AB, AB is the near end and BA is the foreign. Similarly for BC, for BC, BC is the near end, CB is the foreign. 
similarly for bd bd is the near end and db is the far end for bd like that you have to remember like that you have to divide individually so all this type of concept also along with the diagrams i will divide that one and i will sh show in the last two examples if you have any confusion on this means you please look the two examples you will make it clear okay then see here m equal to fixed end moments plus 2 into near end rotation moments plus 1 into far end rotation moments m a b equal to this is a fixed end moments plus 2 into its near end means its near end will be always zero that is the reason 2 into 0 plus 1 into far end rotation moment 1 into far end means 1 into 0 0.33 so see here i am substituting here minus 26.667 plus 2 into 0 plus 0 0.33 if you simplify in your calculator you will get minus 26.34 kilo newton meter then go for mba for MBA, what is the fixed moments? 26.67 plus 2 into its near end moments, 2 into 0 0.033 plus 1 into its far end moments, 1 into minus 26.67. So, see here 1 into 26.67. Sorry, 1 into here rotation moments will be 0 here. So, once again repeating the same step, fixed moment will be equal to 26.67 plus 2 into its near end means 2 into 0 0.33 plus 1 into its far end means 1 into 0. So, if you simplify that one, you will get uh, this value here 27.33 kilo Newton meter. Then go for MBC. For MBC, what is the fixed end moment here? After making correction, you will get this one. So, you will take this one as a fixed end moment here minus 38.40 plus 2 into its near end means 2 into 0 0.21 plus 1 into its far end means 1 into 0. If you simplify here, you will get uh, this final moment that is minus 37.98. Again, for CD. So, for CD, you no need to take down that formula. Why? Because for CD, the final moment will be 0. Why? Because it is a simply supported end. Then go for MBD. So, MBD also, you please calculate like this only. 10 into 2 into its near moments, 2 into 0 0.33 plus 1 into far end moments, 1 into 0. So, simplify in your calculator. Then go for MDB minus 10 into minus 10 plus 2 into 0 plus 1 into 0 0.33. So, that is your formula after substituting minus 10 plus 2 into 0 plus 1 into 0 0.33. If you simplify in your calculators, you will get minus 9.67. Friends, if you see the last two problems at a particular joint, there will be two connecting members BA plus BC. So, sum of the joints at a particular uh, sum of the members at a particular joints will be equal to 0. Similarly, for C also, CB and CD are the connecting members. Sum of the members at a particular joints will be equal to 0 there. But here, if you sum any two members at a particular joints, you will you don't get 0 here. Why? Because if you sum, there will be three connecting members for a particular joint. That is the reason what I am saying means for B, BA, BC, BD. If you sum all these three members at a particular joint, you will get a 0. So, see here, if I for check checkpoint at B, BA plus BC plus BD, if I will sum all these three moments at this particular 0 moment means you will get 0. Then you are uh, assume that your answer will be correct. You make that checkpoint for your clarification whether your answer will be correct or not. If you sum any members, all that members will be 0 means uh, at a particular joint, your answer will be correct. Friends, I hope you understand this procedure. So, for your practice purpose, I will also upload this uh, material in the description link, PDF file in the description link. If you want, you please download and see and practice this one. So, in the next part, I will show how to draw the bending moment diagram based on this final moment. Thank you so much for watching this video.